she is as stubborn as she is dull, you may have just damned her. Though I suppose that is of no concern. Her birth damned her. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, I mean, because you're implying that she was born and raised a heretic, thus... Yeah. Her being born condemned her already. Dude, I'm a pariah. Like, Fucking look, get it, man. Sororitas literally do not give a fuck about how clean or anything. If, if you're yeah. dirty... Fuck you. Yeah, no, I get it. I'm fucking amazed that you haven't blown her head off, and I'm so glad I rolled that three. That was pretty good. It's pretty classic. I was like, degrees of success are going to matter, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to kill her, but I don't know. It's pretty <laughs> iffy. Damn it, Claw. Um, so, yeah. Let's get back to the, the questions at hand. Well... You've come to me with no information of what Lady Thales plans to do about the Eldarian threat. With Congratulations, Canonus. You are now as up to speed as I was when I was sent on this mission. You have no signature in the warp, and I am immediately distrustful of you. Your guardsman speaks in defense of heretics. At least your medic seems to do her job. <laughs> Devin's like, if I can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I may rewind a I sentence speak or two there. In the defense of a mind that can be molded. I do not doubt your intentions. But the best of intentions have led to the damnation of entire worlds. Cough, cough. Well, Billy. Yeah. I can't <laughs> defend Flint on that one, but I can say he cherishes all life. And that is why your heathen cleric is still alive. So, Mercury, Flint. Lady Canonis. You have a long way to go on convincing me, giving you the location, let alone permission to take the shard from its resting place. How do you feel we should remedy the situation? Beer? Well, <laughs> I have little in the ways of suggestions for that, but if I may rewind this a few moments... You keep saying I have no uh, presence or signature, I forget which, in the warp. And while I understand the meaning of those words, I... I'm afraid I don't understand what you yourself mean. How can one not have a signature within the warp? Actually, I don't even... Does Merc even know that everyone has a signature in the warp? I don't know how much... Yes, he knows that okay. everyone has a soul. Okay. That's what a signature in the warp is. Yeah. It's a soul. Anyway. Okay. Oh, sorry. So it's a soul? Mm -hmm. so, okay. How could I not have a soul? <laughs> in my readings, there is a, a gene born among one... In a million million humans, known as the pariah gene. This gene makes you. It's called a trillion bitch. It's being poetical, ass. I know. Read the just... Bible, or as I like to call it, the Christian Koran. I don't know. We're going with Yay! This <laughs> I've corrupted him. <laughs> the Jewish Torah. Yay! That's what it is. It's actually a thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, known as the pariah gene, the inheritor of this gene, or I suppose mutant would be the better term, has no signature in the warp, has no soul, as it were, and in fact 
depending on their power, siphons the soul away from others, thus causing many around him, or her, hatred. It's all making sense. <laughs> it's all coming together. Everything. I worked for so many years to be so charming. No wonder everyone still hates me. It's not like I'm just a dick. <laughs> You're a dick because the plot said so. <laughs> yeah. Um. So am I specifically um, a pariah or am I an untouchable? I cannot tell you that. Right? Because you don't know and I'm, she has no yeah. way to fully analyze and give you that information at the moment. I'm just curious because she got like that close to touching me and I didn't fucking burn her hand off so I feel like I'm just an untouchable. Also, I never killed uh, Blank every time he touched me. I know. Look, man. It's all been thought actually, out. Actually, Don't worry about it. Actually, <laughs> I did kill him one time he touched me. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming together, man. It was great. Ah, good times. <laughs> Sorry, Roger. Come back I'm a to pariah. Us. I couldn't help it. It wasn't my fault, man. It's all my fault. Anyways. So. Um, but prior to Graia, I traveled with another Psyker. After the events of... Oh, wait, no. I didn't know that about... She never once did anything that any of us saw. So I don't know about Bo. Yeah, you don't know that Bo is a Psyker. Okay, so, anyways. Uh, before the events of Graia, I traveled with a Psyker. Long after the events of Graia, once we had returned to Sanctuary, I briefly knew another Psyker. Neither of them made any mention of this. Well, one would have to assume any of the Psykers born on this planet would not have the proper mastery to detect the ebb and flow of the warp. The Psyker I traveled with prior to Graia was from off-world. He came... Uh, he came to Valanthia with us on a ship some thousand years ago. And he did not notice that you were a pariah? No. Uh, did he ever mention, slash would I know, that he was imperially sanctioned? I don't think he ever did. Not okay. until that was revealed to you, you know, what his job was. Oh, that's right. I do know that, because Lysara. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but they were also saying that he was uh, an Inquisitor, and I didn't fully trust them on that. Exactly. So, it's up to your discretion to yeah. what you're so, going to say now. Um, ah, fuck, I forgot her name. There we go. Uh, Bethany went so far as to hypothesize that... Uh, the Psyker on board the ship with us was an Inquisitor that you had sent for long ago. He gave no indication of such and never mentioned it. So I don't know how, val or how true that information is, but she certainly thought so. She grabs, or she pulls out a letter again and begins reading it. <sighs> Was that the gift you brought, then? How did he die? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Had nothing to do with me, I swear. <laughs> Um, well, we had been severely injured, uh, that was, in Graia, that was a bunch of spiders, right? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that was when I was 
unconscious in the fucking no, it elevator. No, wasn't spiders. It was the uh, when you guys fucking decided to go against all of the servitors in the world. Oh yeah, that's right. That was a that's fun what day. it was. Thanks, GM. Hashtag <laughs> all the good ideas. <laughs> I'm like, a, there, there is like 50 people in here. You're like, we can take them. Yep. We fight. Got this. Yeah. Well, on the turn that I was like, I'm going to run. I think who was it? Ellen went down, or no, not yeah. uh, Joanna went down first. Mm-hmm. No, no, Slate went down first. Yeah, people started I actually falling as soon as you Joanna, went down to She leave. whipped out her shotgun and blew like two of their heads off before they could kill her. Yeah. So, anyways, moving on. Uh, while we were in Graya, we found a medical lab uh, with blood curdling screams coming from inside. As we tried to make our way in, we were attacked by... I would just call them cyborgs, right? Or do I know that they're called servitors? You don't know. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, we were attacked by multiple, multiple cyborgs. A few of which had very large guns attached to their arms. Uh, we barely made it out. And in an attempt to heal us... Slate's powers... Well, got away from him. To put it lightly, he took himself and two of our companions out with him and nearly killed Flint as well. I had to drag Flint back down to the base of Grya, where, if not for the intervention of uh, Dante Albinus, or the appearance of Dante Albinus, we probably would have died with no means of getting back out. A shame if he is who Bethany thinks he is. Well, that's why I have such doubts as to his supreme position of importance. He he never seemed to do anything that seemed official and that was far from the only time his powers ever backfired. Though I must say it was probably the most spectacular way. Um, Ellen, do like like uh, four Medicaid checks just cause give you something to do since you are down there just healing. Hey, people. Ellen, you're still here, right? Yeah, that, I'm looking through exalted stuff, which yep. by the way, they leave out lore between the two versions of the books. This is bothering me. Nah, uh, it's good, isn't it? That's why it's good coming in completely fresh. No, no, I mean between the two versions of the third edition book. Oh, even better. Yeah. So, but yeah. It's not. It's not full release yet, though, right? So who cares? Oh, well, I'll I'll go into it later. Okay. Um. Yeah. She turns back to Mercury. Was that the only gift? She said that you brought one with you. The gift I bring with me is. Not something physical. It's my dick. It's not there anymore. <laughs> no, your dick's there. It's not your balls. I know, it's my balls. These nuts. Yeah. These nuts. Exists. Metaphorically. <laughs> Anyways. Um. While in Graia, we came across a man claiming to be an inquisitor of old. Inquisitor of old. Uh, one who says he came here chasing former inquisitor Tempest Thales uh, under suspicion of. Uh, it was just tyranny, right? Yeah. yeah. Becoming a rogue, basically. Yeah. Uh, under suspicion of. Inquisitor Tempest Thales going rogue and becoming a tyrant. Uh, he claims to have been in the tower since before the storms. It's a very long time. Yes. Well. I assume you're speaking of Cyphus. Inquisitor Cyphus Grunin, yes. Did you know him or know of him? I knew of him. Bethany did not. 
she seemed bewildered to hear that there had been another Inquisitor on the planet all these years. Yes, well, because of Cyphus's disrepair, knowledge of him was kept to the higher echelons. Yes, well, alongside the two of us and the higher echelons, you are the only person who knows of his existence and possibly of his subsequent demise. Um, well, I suppose Lady Sarna has also been made aware. Um, she read my mind back in... Mm, don't actually know if uh, I ever mentioned that to Flint... I don't think he knows she's a psyker. So, that's fine. No. Sarna? Huh? Sarna? No. Oh. Nope. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're actually aware of that fact. Good, let's keep it that way, because then I won't be scared of her. Alright, so, despite her being halfway across the room, I just saunter on over. She read my mind, because she's a witch. <laughs> no, you say it out loud, because you wouldn't have known not to yeah. do that. So, anyways. Uh... She knows everything I knew up until about four months ago, including the existence and subsequent demise of Cyphus Grumman. But uh, Tempest himself and the Rankin Empire as a whole are none the wiser. And then very promptly she sent you to me. To be fair, I do believe I was being sent prior to that. That just expedited it. But yes. But getting back to the gift. Prior to his demise. By the way, I don't remember. He just died of old age, right? Or like getting off the chair or something? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. I don't, well, I don't remember anyone, like, shooting him. No. All I remember is Slate sitting down on the chair and taking nine damage. <laughs> that was good. I liked that that happened. <laughs> it stabs you in the chest. You don't like that kind of thing. You aren't completely sure what killed him. You know, it wasn't Well, I just meant from my... Va it's not like you know, he wasn't murdered. He just died. Yeah, from your vantage point, he just died. Probably of old age. Okay. Could be anything. He was, you know, like 1,200 years old. So. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So. Shortly before his demise, he reached out to me and imparted me with what he claimed was a gift. And though it may afford some no, I refuse to acknowledge that any of it is a gift. Any time it's activated, consciously or unconsciously, I feel part of my mind slipping away. Large chunks of it have already gone missing in the last half year. I come here both by request of Lady Sarna to save the world, but also on a much more personal mission because she mentioned that you might know how to teach me to control it, to get rid of it. Control it? Come on! Let's go with 20. I activate Cursed Sight. Alright. Roll it up. Love my life. <laughs> Straight willpower? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Nice. Roll it up. <laughs> All right, so what is that? 1d100 plus 40? It is. Hmm? Yep. All right. Roll a natural 100. Roll a natural 100. You could do it. You could make my night. Pretty close. Not even kind of. I should punish you just for that. 
fucking waste of time. So it was a hundred and something? Hundred and three. Hundred and three. All right. Well, as you say that, uh, you faint. All right. <laughs> you keel over and you remain unconscious for... Uh, roll a d5. For about 18 seconds. Good. During this time, you're helpless until the end of the encounter. You can only take a single... It's irrelevant. Uh, you gain 1d5 insanity from that. On top of your natural insanity gain. Woo! Richard, guess what that means? <laughs> Someone passed a threshold. <laughs> Someone's oh, got a tremor. Shit. Where are you at? I'm at 40. 40. Is oh, that your first minor? What? I only heard Devin. What'd you say? You're your first minor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. Don't I get to roll something to see if I even get one? Yeah, I'm look. I'm reading the rules right now just to make sure. Okay. To be fair, Devin, I could literally go crazier than you anytime I want. All I have to do is tell Richard I use Curse Sight. <laughs> yeah, good point. All right, so you're doing a straight willpower test for this. Okay. I would not fuck you twice, <laughs> says Roll Twenty. <laughs> it lies. It's a dirty, dirty liar. All right, D100 plus 30. There's a 96. That's that's closer than a 63. 126 total. So your trauma... And you don't get to... You can't shirk disorders. You can shirk traumas. Okay. But 126? Mm-hmm. Uh, your character reacts to the slightest stress or pressure by becoming extremely agitated. Oh, shit. Oh, so I just get to play myself then. When performing any task that involves a test, your character must first pass a willpower test or suffer a minus 10 modifier to the test. We are all gonna die. If the die. character gets into combat, all tests automatically suffer a minus 10. This lasts for 1d5 days. Yay. So we're all d5. Uh, so that one is... We are all oh, so going that just lasts to for five die. Days. Four days. Four days. All right. So wait, what happens after the four days? That just goes away? It goes away. This okay. Is a, this is a mental trauma, not your disorder. Okay. Because anytime you pass a 10, you take a trauma test. But Got since it. you passed 40, you get your first disorder, which is something you can't not have. Yeah. Um. All right, roll a d5. Four, okay. Three, three, four, four. And greater demon. And Come on, Devin. How much faith do you really have in me? None. I have no yeah. faith in anybody right now. This oh, is dark heresy, motherfucker. This is going to be the best thing ever. Oh, no. You see what I mean? Roll yeah. a D two. This is this is why uh This is Jeez, why Zach doesn't use cursed sight. Fucking mean <laughs> Oh thank god it's phobia. No. No. <laughs> You're not suffering from a phobia. I what? You're not suffering from a phobia. Oh. You are suffering from a delusion. Oh nice. Fuck. You have a minor delusion that all of your choices are right and justified, no matter what the cost. Such a character so, might claim to be a Puritan, despite using prescribed knowledges, 
or refuse to act subtly where it would otherwise be prudent to do so. I don't understand that one, though. Because no. it just says, I assume I'm always right. So I do less self-doubt, but I don't see how that would mean I would just be like, I'm not going to sneak. No, not necessarily. Yeah. It just means you now take other people's opinions less into account. This is how oh. I'm feeling right now. Oh, the disorder where Zach becomes a fucking hipster. <laughs> <laughs> Hipster Merc. <laughs> Someone gave him a tumbler. They don't have any hipster apparel. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <clears throat> no. I've got nothing. Do it, Zach. I thought I had Hold something. On. Let me see if I that was nothing. actually right. You rolled a four? Yep. So, one, two... Three. Oh, I was wrong. I apologize. You were supposed to be rolling a d6. Oh. <coughs> One. All the rolls. Fuck was I doing? There we go. Huh. All right. So, uh, this one really doesn't fit your character very well, but it's insanity, and insanity does what insanity does. <clears throat> your character now sees his flesh as weak and will continually blame it for his failures and problems. He will also try and change and or remove his flesh, becoming increasingly obsessed with surgical modification as well as bionic replacement. I need sedatives now. Great. That's so going to be really weird. So now he's but Paris perfect Hilton. for uh, Ugbaldoth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. There you go. That's, that's your new disorder. All right. So, I, uh, now you're a porn I, star. I really have no idea how that's going to work. but uh, I don't either, but that's what it is. You're a porn star now. Just, just always I don't, I don't know if very many porn stars who remove body parts and get them replaced with bionic limbs, but I'd like to live in your world for a few days. <laughs> no, dude, just all the plastic surgery, except it's metal surgery. Yeah, fine. I'll find Quicksilver Botox that won't kill him. Damn. So, yeah, you do that and you faint dead away. That's great. Yep. <sighs> he, he normally doesn't do this. <laughs> Okay, so she at least and saw what Mercury was doing. That Did I hilarious. see anything before I passed out? Roll perception. Plus 10. Is that plus 10 for my sight? or Yeah. Ha! Huh. Worth it. Nope. Uh, you, all you saw was blinding white. And then when you come to, uh, you'll realize you were on the ground. Uh, she looks and then steps back. Um, Flint, as Mercury topples over in front of her. As though he was kicked in the face. Oh, I don't just crumple? Yeah. Well, you just, you fall back. Like you were just... Okay. Um, and then she immediately looks over to you after you quip that he normally doesn't do that. How? And then she hammers on the desk and the other sisters come in. Take him down to the infirmary immediately. Oh, okay. Best way to get out of a conversation ever. <laughs> Pick up a couple disorders. <laughs> Bind his limbs. Make sure he speaks to no one besides me when he wakes up. Oh, I'm going to talk to the first person I see. It's going to be great. <laughs> Kill him! The, uh, get their the heads sisters, off for insubordination. The sisters nod, and then they all get together. And first, binding you, pick you up, and then begin to take you out. Flint, are you going to do anything in this time? All right, how long does I... that take? Because you said 18 seconds. I know. Should I go with him? Are you asking the canonists? Yeah. Mm, I have one more question to ask of you before you leave. 
Okay. All right, so the door closes. Uh, and about three or four seconds later, Mercury, you come to consciousness being carried by five women. What? Uh, Arms and um, legs bound. Uh, <laughs> Did I miss something? Oh, baby. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> <laughs> They don't say anything, and they just continue taking you down the staircase. All right. Can't do anything, so whatever. <laughs> Ellen, uh, in a little while, you see Mercury, uh, you know, just hanging out, <laughs> carried in by five women, uh, manacles on arms and legs, and just laid down into one of the beds, uh, curtain pulled all around him. And two sororitas stand outside of the curtain with their weapons drawn. Or not drawn, but, you know, like shouldered. I'm going to walk over, making my hands very obviously open and not holding anything. Mm -hmm. You don't know they don't like you. (laughs) They have guns. I need to be careful here. Can I ask what's going on? Can I ask what's going on? <laughs> Great, he doesn't know either. The canonist told us to bring him down here and bind his arms and legs and make sure that he wouldn't talk to anybody until she had a time to speak with him alone. I can hear all this, right? Yeah, it's just like, a These curtain. aren't like lead-lined curtains. Yeah, it's just a curtain. You can right, hear cool. it. I'm going to talk to everyone in here. Mark, shut your damn mouth. Fuck you, Ellen. Can I go and sedate him? Agitated. I can sedate him if you want. She grabs the syringe and then turns around. (laughs) I hate you all. (laughs) Merc, you fall into a deep, calm sleep. What's happened to the man he was with, uh, Flint Garrison? Nothing. The canonist wished to speak with him. She they're up in the cloister. If you would like to go uh, see them, thank you. And she she walks with you. Uh, well, she gets one of the other sisters because she's watching them. She gets another sister, and the other sister walks you up, um, and then knocks on the door. But before we get to that, we'll get to the question with Flint because that was a thing, and that would have taken less that? time than all this. Yep. <clears throat> I can see that your soul is very pure, Flint, and I need you to level with me. What's going on with all of this? (laughs) Flint, don't fail me now. Fucking (laughs) roleplay. That's a terrible thing to say, Zach. (laughs) Honestly, this is the most... Let me put it to you in militaristic terms. This is the most underfunded, under, <laughs> in, er, yeah, underinformed, and least equipped saving the world mission I've ever been on. And I'm a guardsman. <laughs> <laughs> We're the fucking chaff, man. I know my place. We get fucked. We always get fucked. <laughs> we started out with hey there's this thing over here that might help us you should go do that and you know all the questions are it's like okay what is that thing who do we need to talk to and what do we need to what do we need to do to use it to and get it back here and all the answers is like i don't know figure it out Honestly, it pains me to say it, but we're kind of as much of in the dark as you are. More so. She knows what the artifact is. <laughs> Actually, yeah. You know what the artifact is, so I guess you do know a little bit more than we do. Yes. Merc can influence Flint from afar. <laughs> <laughs> Our psychic connection is strong! <laughs> My friend! Which Cypher's is weird, because... Which is weird because, you know, uh, no presence in the warp. So, totally not psychic. 
opposite no, dude, of that. Was, it was Cypher's acolyte. Yeah. yeah. He he hand signaled that to you in manacles from yep. like a hundred and fifty feet away through a couple from floors. A couple walls. Yeah. And a, the friendship and a curtain. is strong. Part of the cards. <laughs> he rolled a one and you rolled a one. <laughs> receive. <laughs> Um, anyways, she looks back over and she kind of cradles her head into her hand. <sighs> the Eldar threat is very real and I want to believe you, but I... I can't put the fate of the world into... your party's hands. You don't have to. Okay. Help us defeat the enemy. Don't just let us do it. Join us. I have many fights upon our own borders. It is all I can do to keep the five sisters afloat. But what happens when the world comes down? That won't matter. What do you suggest I do? Let thousands of people die. Fuck your country. <laughs> Strategically, it would make sense to pull back and focus on one thing, but I know that's not an option because of obvious reasons. Hundreds of thousands would probably die in that scenario. I feel like this is something we should sit on, though. And as you say that, there's a knock at the door. Come in. Ah, you've brought me the... Melfian. Excellent. Have a seat. She gestures to you, Ellen. Is it the kind of, we'll get to you in a moment? J yeah, like, she's kind of deep in thought and conversation with flint she's just like you know sit down i'll get to you when i get to you mm. but yeah well if you can think of anything that i just don't think i could trust your group with something of a weapon of such power and i don't blame you for that if there's anything you think of that will help will help us against the Eldar invasion, let me know. I yes. hope you will do the same to me. Of course. For, for me. And she turns to you. I believe your name is Ellen? Yes, ma'am. Um, can... Anyone tell me why I just had to have Mercury sedated? Was he trying to talk to someone? <laughs> he wouldn't shut up. Oh, Mercury. <laughs> da, 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 da. Anyways. Um, <clears throat> yes. When a pariah uses psychic... Or a technique of the warp, it causes concern. Concern that... I don't know what he is. I don't know why he's here. And I don't trust him. It well, seems I... safest for everyone that he stays sedate until I have more of a chance to deal with him. I assume you've been told why we are all here? Yes. As little as that information ga uh, was gained, yes. Do you have anything to add, perhaps? I no, imagine to Merck's told you everything he knows, which is most likely everything he's told us. I'm here to keep everybody alive. And to, of course, 
make sure the mission's completed. Of course. So in case it hasn't already been asked, and I know I'm in no position to ask this, can you do anything to help us? On your current mission? Uh, what the hell? Hmm? It just like... That was weird as hell. It literally just shifted my Skype to like a different thing. I thought it... I, at first I thought... No, there we go. Ah, there we go. It was, it was preemptively four hours yeah. in there. <laughs> what a jerk. What a jerk, Skype. All right. I'll call you guys back in a second. Okay. Way to be a jerk, Skype. Darkness. And now it is time for Dim Heresy. No. <laughs> oh, really? Is it? Everyone looks fine online. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be fine in like five minutes, but it's dark for Darkness, me. no parents. <laughs> dark Heresy. In the, <laughs> in the dim Other future. Other things that are black. Of the 21st millennium. That's only when it's just me playing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Exciting uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, on your current mission, there's nothing I can do, I'm afraid, but if you have any thoughts as to how to deal with all of the problems uh, that are at our doorstep, I'm more than inclined to help. Well, to my understanding, the way it's going to help is by getting this artifact back to Lady Sarna. You'll forgive me, but I wouldn't trust the a traitor or her brother with the most powerful weapon on the planet. Especially because I don't know what their intentions for use of it are. If used improperly, it would be worse than the Eldar invasion. So you know what this artifact is? For the most part. W would you care to enlighten us because I've been wanting to know this entire time it's an ancient relic of unimaginable power focused at its core and if unleashed could annihilate worlds but it could be used to stop this invasion if you could control it, possibly. Is there anyone you're aware of that can control it? No, and we don't dare. Oh, better question. Do you think that if everything went right with all the good ideas you have, you'd be able to turn back this invasion. We've been fighting for two months, and it is all we can do to hold our borders. I have no idea if there could be a turn for the sisters. So if they swarm over you, they're only going to push further onto the planet. Would you rather risk destruction by going by conventional message or methods and have little chance of success or have a higher chance of success by letting us do what we were sent here for? Because the way I see it, either way, God, I want you to roll Just, charm so bad, but I know how that's going to end up. I have it trained! <laughs> that's the worst part! Can she roll my charm? Nope. <laughs> now you're pretty sedated. <laughs> I talked to her. It rubbed off on her. 
missed my She'd touch. learn the techniques. So a voice in the back of your mind goes, I could help you convince her. How? <clears throat> well, now this is going to sound really gamey. I could fix your face, which would help your fellowship. <laughs> Well, the, the, oh, the fix in my space, one, would make me look like a normal person, and let's face it, would give me back my self-confidence. Yeah. 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 So he can phrase it like that. All right. <clears throat> I could heal you. I could give you more confidence. And perhaps, with some extra power, a silver tongue. Mm. <laughs> He's asleep. Mm. He wouldn't even know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. You just look <laughs> over and you see attention. Ellen trying to take the, the biggest dump. He's lifetime and all he has to do is doom the planet. Yeah, except I don't know that I doom the planet. Hey, you Wait. might. Oogbaloff might be a good guy, you know? In the Necronomicon. <laughs> There's, Wait, that exists. I thought we. I thought I needed the artifact to heal myself, or what? I thought I needed one of the orbs to heal myself. Yes, take it from Mercury. I do like uh, Reverend Astrid's comment. Mm -hmm. Your maiden call from earlier. Shut up, Zach. I'm trying to listen to Danny. Is Ook Baldoff talking to him right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't even know he was talking. I couldn't hear. Okay, so it's not instant. Gotcha. No, Maybe. All this, we'll see all this how this goes. communication is going instantaneously through your head. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see how this goes. Really don't want to risk that right now. Risk everything. Dance, Ellen. Dance. <laughs> well, I've said my piece. Well, if either of you have any ideas, let me know. Um, until oh, then... So she just blows me off? Well, she doesn't have any plans. Her, her plan is literally just to hold the sisters. They can't do anything. Like, Eldar have gotten to... And I guess she'll explain this. Eldar have gotten to everywhere oh, except for Lissara and Ebonine. I am... There is a pox upon... I believe it's Thalia, but hold on. It is now. There is a pox upon Victoria, Eldar marching on Sierra, or on Sierra and uh, Thalia. Emperor be praised that Lasara and Ebony have only seen increased pirate activity. Yeah, we well, met the Eldar on Sierra. Yeah, like the, two uh, days ago, right outside your king castle. The holes. Well, it's what I mean is I basically said, hey, right now we, you have two options. Which would yeah. you rather pick that could doom the world? Right now, it seems better to hold on until the last possible second. But uh, either of you can go ahead and roll scrutiny on this. And Flint, you get a plus 20 because you'll probably actually know something about her for this. Uh, either of us or both? Both. Both of you roll it. Sweet. It's a basic, so you can still roll it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fate point it. Fuck it. Ellen passes. Way to go. You're the best. Let's go back up. Flint, dude. No, hold on. Good. Damn it! Uh, no. Ellen, you get you get the distinct feeling that it's she doesn't care about the rest of the planet falling. <sighs> as long as the five sisters survive, that's all she cares about. God damn it.
That was an impressive roll. Good job. Well, I've got nothing else right now. Have a conundrum. Okay. Um, so yeah, then she bids you farewell, offers you guys, you know, place to stay, um, and that if you have any ideas or thoughts, feel free to come back and discuss them with me. Until then, I will try and think of a way for in which we can learn to trust each other. Well, if you think of something, please come to us. And then she bids you farewell. So as we walk out, Flint, any ideas? Um, other than dooming thousands to save an entire planet, not really. What do you mean? They pool all of their resources and instead of us letting us do it, they have a contingent or a yeah, group of them and Yeah, just the canoness and a bunch of her people just fucking go to Sanctuary and we all do this together instead of us just handling it, potentially if, dying. If we take them to Sanctuary, more than likely she's going to attack with the intention to kill Sarna. Maybe, but the whole world is kind of on the line. She doesn't care about the whole world. And what makes you think that? You heard the way she talks? She practically thinks the entire world's worth nothing except for her sisters. Well, that's foolish. To be fair, this entire mission is foolish. Flint, we should we really shouldn't have been to trusted get, to do this. Since you would realistically know that. You can understand why she thinks that, because in her eyes, the whole world's heretical except for the sisters. Yeah. So you would understand why. I do, but if an entire world gets overrun, they're just cornering themselves. Anyways. I think she realizes that. Because it's like, you can defend yourself and wait for them to just kill off everything else, but then they have this massive force that killed off everything else. I'm like, alright, you're the only thing that's left. All of our resources are now going to kill you. I think she'd rather fight than let something like this artifact fall into what she believes to be the wrong hands. But she's gonna lose... I don't know. It's no point talking to you about this. We have to talk to her about it. Yeah, but we need to come up with a more haircut. convincing argument. Well, Merck's the talker now, and he's unconscious. But... Mm. May as well get Paulina, see if she can come up with anything. <laughs> Flint, would you like to tell her? <laughs> <laughs> I would, but I'm agitated. And knock the fuck out. Paulina, we're all gonna die. Um, here's 20 bucks. <laughs> There's the door. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ellen, I guess you wander off in search of Paulina. Yeah, since Flint won't tell me. Flint, tell you what, what are you going to do? She what said, happened to Paulina? Oh. He's <laughs> unloading the cart with what's-his-face. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's okay. So you head out to the stables. 
fucking right, bye, Ellen. Ellen, you head out to the stables. Flint, where are you going to go? I'll go walk somewhere to think about. I was hoping he'd come with, but okay. whatever. Start no, walking the around the compound. Four ways. Yeah. Everybody's away. And the Sorority will be fine. Head. Merc shot in the head. Um, Flint, you just walk around. You don't really. I mean, like, you, you walk around, you take it all in. There's library, mess hall. Well, I'm just chapels. walking around to give you my know. character time to think. I know. I'm just telling you, like, oh, okay. as you walk around, what you see. Uh, chapels. You walk along the, like, outer perimeter wall. Marvel at their weaponry for a little bit. And you just kind of wander around. Um, Mark, you're asleep. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying every second of it. Ellen, you hear in the back of your head. You could have it all right now. You could save the world, Ellen. <laughs> and you walk out into the stables. Mm -hmm. uh, where you see Scarif uh, unloading everything with uh, the destroyer. Can't remember his name. <laughs> Jerome the Destroyer. Jerome the Destroyer. Yeah, they're on. They're unpacking. Uh, Ellen, or not Ellen? Paulina is nowhere to be seen. Excuse me, Jerome uh, Scarif. Do you know where Paulina is? They look at each other, kind of nervously. Uh, no, uh, we haven't seen her in a while. Scrutinate. Fucking scrutiny. Yes. Um, they seem incredibly nervous. And you believe them that they probably don't know, but they're definitely not letting you know the whole story. Guys, what happened? What did Paulina say? <laughs> um... And Jerome kind of gets next to you. Uh, both of them still looking incredibly nervous. Well, Doc, uh, she didn't say anything. It it happened very suddenly. Just two Sororitas came up, then they took her away. Fuck! <laughs> that in Echoes. character out. <laughs> that's, no, that's in character. Echoes through the stables. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He he quickly goes back to his work, trying to look as inconspicuous as possible. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Channeling her frustration right now. Salt. Wait. Talk to Ugba Vala. Okay. Don't we need the book for this? For what? What do you think? Ellen, Ooh, you know smart. all the rights, and I know all of the rights. We could do this. It wouldn't take any time at all. Is there any risk involved? I seem to remember you talking about that. No, we just... We must be careful, otherwise we might damage one of the orbs, but outside of potentially damaging them, no, there's no risk. Can I scrutinize the voice in my head? Did you pass or fail? You're you failed, that's why you're allowed to yeah. talk to him. No, you can always talk to him. It's just if you oh. fail, you can't scrutinize it. You believe it because he controls you. He can edit your memories, he can... Do a oh, lot of things. Okay. It's like full possession, basically, except he doesn't get control over your body. Fuck. Richard, j just from a meta standpoint, if I do this, does this fuck us? Maybe. Um, from a meta standpoint, it does not fuck over your immediate mission. It might make things down the line a little bit more difficult, though. Isn't that what this campaign is all about? Pretty much. Well, I just mean like an immediate, you know, we're fucked. The, good, okay, I'm going to put it this, game, this way. Everybody. There is, it is not an immediate fail state. You can, like, you guys are already beyond getting like the best ending possibility, but 
uh, you could still get one of the better endings. Aw, we missed the best ending? Yeah. <laughs> we missed that by a mile, dude! <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised the best ending was ever an option. It ha it real realistically, it hasn't been an option since I was like, Danny, blow up the fucking arch. And he's like, no one else wants to do it. We're leaving. Well, we didn't, didn't have, have any any yeah, we didn't have anything to blow it up arc. with. And he spent a week searching for bombs. And then we all nearly died, and I didn't really give him an option. I was like, we'll come back for this. I did not go to the armory to fight the things, to get the bombs. What yeah, because half of us died. Nice. I know. I'm aware. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, with that let went the perfect ending. So now you guys are just stuck behind good options and fucking horrible ones. But no, this will not insta like insta fail or anything like that. It's not even necessarily going to lock you into a failure course or anything. It's just obviously every time you will allow something like this, it becomes more precarious. It becomes increasingly difficult not to do so. Yes. And the stakes are higher. Uh, has anyone here ever read Dresden? <laughs> 